All right, this is Coach Hat from the Pickleball National Championships, USAPA in Indian Wells, California. We're getting ready for you. Hope you can make it to our party on Friday night. We'll see you there. Whoa, I was daydreaming there. Thought I was back in Indian Wells. That's okay. Let's get you ready for this pickleball party. We're going to give you a few tips. Got Coach John here is going to help us go through uh, pickleball attire. Uh, you want to be comfortable, loose fitting, athletic attire, like Coach John has on, warm up pants, uh, maybe a long sleeve shirt. You can also wear uh, regular pants, that's fine. And you definitely want to have flat soled shoes. Okay, not running shoes, so that you have good traction and you can move side to side easily. Well, this is the kitchen, it's called the kitchen area. And the kitchen is the area where you cannot hit a volley. So a lot of pickleball is played by what's called the non-volley line. This is the non-volley line. I can't step over this and hit a volley. So we end up having to stay here and hit a lot of dinking. Dinking is where you hit the ball very softly, just kind of trying to get it just over the net so your opponent can't volley it. We're gonna go through that in a second. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to dink. And the biggest difference in tennis, from tennis, is that in tennis we're going to hold the racket more like this after the hit a ground stroke after the ball bounces. So in tennis we go more like this. But in the dink, we really want to get that ball over the net and drop it short. So I'm going to take my paddle like this and just gently hit it over the net. So one of the challenges with pickleball is often it's on a tennis court, and so it's sharing lines with the tennis court. It can be a little confusing where to stand. So when you come to the net and you're in the dinking position or the volleying position, you want to be careful you're not standing at the white line, the tennis baseline here. You want to make sure that you're right up to the blue line and what I like to call holding the line. Now that I'm holding the line, I'm standing on the blue line. I want to stay there. I don't want to back off of it. So if a ball comes to me, I don't want to back up and hit that ball. So one more time, ball comes back. I don't want to be backing up here to hit that ball. It puts me in a bad position. So what I want to do is hold the line, stay in front, and paddle up, and just volley that ball back. All right? So I go in and volley. I never want to back up. Always want to hold the line. All right, Coach John and I are gonna show you a real live dinking rally now. I'm gonna see if I can keep the ball low and see if I can get him to pop the ball up. Patience, patience until you get that high ball, and then it's go time. Okay, so those are our tips to get you ready for the pickleball party on Friday, January 24th from 6 to 8 p.m. Even if you're a new player, we'd love to see you there. We're going to have some beginner courts going. So please, if you'd like to give the sport a try, come on out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the party.